the show has just opened. It's 8.30 and they're just letting the car in right now. So uh, I guess I could film the parade of cars coming in. Because, uh, well, as you can see, the parking lot, it's pretty empty. <laughs> Check out that. NSX, Porsche. Maybe I'll just stay here and just film as they're coming in. Good look here at the uh, Lamborghini Huracan. Alfa Romero. Here they are, classic Mercedes. Check out the cars and coffee merchandise tent. T-shirts, swags, you know. Helps support the show. Ferrari 360 and uh, check out the uh, the guy with the camera gear there. Wow, that's serious right there. <laughs> nice muscle car. Here's a 427 Chevelle. All right, let's let's walk the show now. Here we have a VF Engineering Huracan. Evil. Nice. Check out the uh, carbon on the hood there. Carbon on the seats. And this unusual double stack wing. F8 <laughs> To save a bit of weight, this is plastic. It's not glass. Five eight Italia. Lots of spaces for upcoming supercars. <laughs> Beautiful Jaguar U type with side pipes too and wire wheels. Jay's for GT. A 992 Turbo. A lot of people believe, you know, this is where you the 992 suck in is there, and it's true. But there's actually one more spot here, also sucks in in here, and actually these are the this sucks in there right here, and this right here is the air inlet for the intercooler, and it comes out right there. So. Pretty neat piece of engineering. Ferrari Italia convertible with the nice classic tan interior. Ferrari F12, AMG GTR, the NSX we saw before, the Targa. Porsche Targa. Huracan. M MC12. MC12. And it has the engine up. Let's take a look here. Yeah, that's a pretty low mounted engine there. This is a V12 Vantage, Austin Martin. Wow, pretty, they're pretty rare. GT3. Uh, 
Profamonte with a lot of crushed carbon fiber. Look at this crushed carbon fiber roof, crushed carbon fiber mirror. The little side there, the rear wing, and check it out. VF Engineering Supercharge. Yeah. So this thing is making around 800 horsepower or so. As if the uh, normal Performante is not fast enough, you know? Add more power when in doubt. And look what's parking here. <laughs> A four-seater Ferrari. Four-seat Ferrari V12 and yep. Got two kids in the car. Nice. This is the Ferrari family man right here. Oh, here's the 57 Chevy that uh, I've showed you guys doing cars and beer. This was the thing, one that was fully rebuilt. It's got a seven liter supercharged motor. And uh, yeah, this is absolutely stunning. You can see the flame job here, it even continues on the inner fender right there. It goes here and it continues like that onto the door. Yeah, it's really nicely done. I mean, fully restored interior. Rebuilt interior, really. Rebuilt, not restored. The whole car has been chopped one and a half inches. Give it a nice lower stance. Wow, check this out. Now that's a station wagon. Just check out the back. Yeah, is that what I think it is? The rear facing seats. Remember these things? Oh God. And it's for sale. Dogs are welcome at South OC Cars and Coffee. <laughs> you know, considering there's really only one way into the show, people get in and find a parking spot surprisingly quick. You figure it would be just like chaos. Everyone's trying to rush in here. A yellow C7 Corvette Stingray with a, a Mini Me and a Mini Mini Me. Oh man, check this thing out. What is this? This is tiny going. <laughs> oh my word, wow. Right hand drive, a spare tire behind the driver. My words. And there's the engine in the back. <laughs> wow, this is cool, whatever it is. If you know what this is, uh, please let me know, because I am stump. Anyway, this is the, uh, the logo, if you recognize it. C8 Corvette with the optional high wing and the front clip there. Uh, what can I tell you about the C8 Corvette that you may not know? Well, uh, yeah, okay, I do have something here. The mirrors. So check out the mirrors on the C8 because they are not symmetrical or mirror images, as you say. So you check the, uh, the discipline here and here on the driver's side. See, put my hand in there. Now, we'll go to the uh, passenger side mirror and check that out. It is longer on the passenger side than the driver's side. And the reason for that is because if they make it the same length, uh, this A-pillar would block the view of the mirror from the driver. So they have to move it out and make it longer. I mean, it, it, it is subtle. Most of the most, well, for first glance, you may, not, you may not notice it, you may never notice it, but uh, once you notice it, uh, you cannot unnotice it. So, yeah. So if I kind of ruin the look of the C8 for you, uh, I apologize. Now you cannot see it. More C8. Again, uh, long mirror arm. <laughs> Short mirror arm. Long mirror arms. <laughs> As, uh, you, you can't unsee it now. You can't unsee it. Uh, 
Oh, check out this hot ride. Yeah. <laughs> Oldsmobile Rocket. It's a nice cool intake there with the scoops. Headers right into a side exhaust. Uh, I see the owner chopped the top. It's been lower, it looks like a good three or four inches there. Headroom would be a problem, I guess. At least for me. But uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, that's a headlight right there, that's a headlight. Chevy Nova with a new LS motor. Nicely rebuilt. A leftover from the custom van days. Look at that, swing up side door. <laughs> yeah, it has seen better days. Back to the Future DeLorean, DMC. <laughs> Available in any color you want it, as long as it was unpainted stainless steel. Now, okay, this one does not have a flux capacitor, but it does have a, a seal of approval. Cadillac El Dorado Land Yacht. Convertible too. Uh, this here is the boss. White wall tires, gotta have that. Look how long this thing is, it's insane. Wow! There's the nice all black Cadillac interior. And check out that rear, oh my god, the trunk must be huge. You can store all the dead bodies. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Like, uh, it's like one postal code to another postal code, just walking the length of this car. This Challenger RT has a 392 cubic inch motor. Uh, how do I know that? Uh, here's a sight. A big humongous Ford F350 pickup trying to park between a few Ford Broncos. Yeah, it might take a few tries. Classic AMG V8 with a supercharged or compressor motor. Yeah, I haven't seen one of these. Well, AMG no longer makes these anymore, but these were nice motors. So you can see the supercharger. And what's unique about it, instead of sucking the air from the front, uh, there's nothing here. The air is sucking from the back. So you can see the air is pulled in from this tube and it goes to an air filter and then it goes into the supercharger. Lexus LC500 on air rise. Wow. Wow. Look at those wheels. They're huge. And check out the lip on the back of the rear wheel. Holy crap. That's pretty crazy. You know, when you think of Lexus, you think of plush luxury car. You don't think of slam to the ground low riders. Now here's something you're never gonna see pretty much anywhere but cars and coffee. This is a Mitsubishi Bravo, I think. I believe that's what they call Bravo. And this one is customized with bigger wheels that are so big it sticks outside the car. <laughs> yeah, maybe want to resize that or put some fenders on there. Or fender flares, you know. Right hand drive, cool. So seats in the back, lots of cargo area. Yeah, that, that guy Joe, he's a, I guess he's the owner. <laughs> yeah, he's big in Japan, small in California, but big in Japan. <laughs> Pretty cool, but you know, judging by the height and how skinny this thing is, I'd be scared to go, I'd, I'd be scared to hit a corner too fast. I might flip over. But it's cool. <laughs> this is a Hyundai Volister N, and it's a Hyundai's hot hatch. Uh, what's unique about a, this hot hatch is, you know, it, it's a, well, I guess it's a single door on the driver's side, but if you go to the passenger side, it's, 
it's two doors. So you have a door for the front seat and a door for the back seat. But uh, yeah, you go onto the driver's side and you just have a single door. Yeah. That is really bright. I mean, the camera's not picking it up, but this is, this is screaming, look at me, look at me, look at me. That is a bright picture, holy crap.